Welcome back to an episode of We Are Again in the Jungle, and we're getting closer and closer and closer and closer to whatever this uh, entrance is. Um, we actually managed to find a hidden entrance, though, but let's just explore this normally and hope that it somewhat works. There's an awful lot of source around, and uh, look at this. Uh, we can even climb up and down and left and right and whatever be a... Ah! And there's an interesting ruby over here that we also need. And how would we best fight those fellas? Uh, we could actually try to fight them from... If you even need to find uh, fight them, though. We don't really know anything yet. Ah, there's a fly agaric. Let's take this one. And an ultimate augmenter herb. Let's take that. There we go. So, what is this? Uh, incinerated corpses. Oh. Oh, look at that. Some black ring fellows as well. It's a northern part of um, this thingy here. Interesting. Uh, I just kind of teleported around and kind of. Yeah. The question is just. Wait a minute. This dude is uh, alive. Dead black ring. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, the watcher. Oh! And the watcher doesn't even care. That's very interesting. So, oh, you don't really see this as a, as a way up, to be honest. Like, this just, it's just so well hidden. Interesting. All right. So, let's just talk to the watcher while we're at it. Why not? <laughs> Uh, you approach an undead standing proud at the lip of a broken bridge. Understandably fearless of the fatal drop, she gazes into the lava sputtering below. Turning to you, she motions to the black ring corpses at her feet. Good riddance to bad rubbish, eh? Only thing I like less than black ring are trolls. God woken, are you? Yes, no, you are, Maria Chosen, exactly. I thought so. I see it on you like an aura. I see such things, for I am the Watcher. And I seek such things, for I am a Seeker. Ooh, ask if she is one of Meister Siva's people. Hmm. The Meister. She bats one's skeletal hand in a truly derisive fashion. Her crackling laugh sounds like dry leaves whirling in the wind on an autumn night. <laughs> the Meister's ragtag band. A but a pale imitation of the tradition they sought to revive. I am one of the original Seekers. We swore to be Knights of the Council, Guardians of Godwoken, and Defenders of Divinity. Ooh, high and mighty. Together, we failed. But still, I try. Alone. Unless... Wait a minute. Uh, take a bite. Unless what? The Knight of Duna has been cursed. Void runs through his veins where source once flowed. I am sworn to protect the council and all within it. But that same oath renders me unable to lift a blade against him. Ah, uh, we already did that. Release the Knight's good spirit from his corrupted shell, Godwoken. Do this, and I will gift you with the last standard of the original Seekers. If you seek ascension, it could help you greatly in the trials along the way. Huh, how convenient. Tell her you have good news. The Knight of Duna is already dead. Uh... Why, how marvellous. I knew your Godwoken spirit was strong. I don't think it's a spirit, really, but all right. Please accept this with my thanks, and the thanks of all those I served alongside. The blessings of the original Seekers upon you. She hands you a small yet heavy trinket, crafted of tarnished metal. Though cold, it feels comforting to the touch, like a worry stone or a familiar childhood toy. Hmm. And even more extra stuff. Perfect. <sighs> I would just like to compare some of those items with the equipment of the other characters, though. Uh, no, that's not high enough. Um... Nah, a dual wield. No. Parokinetic scound. Ah, it's finesse again. Initiate water, dodge, whatnot. Uh, yeah, which one is the highest? 2001, 2. We're going with that. Uh, actually, it doesn't really matter that much, but I. Th 
with, uh, hmm. I don't know really. Maybe the pans could be somewhat useful. Who knows? Let's not go all the time by, by value because we have so much gold. All right, what do we have here? Fire and air resistance, there's water resistance, um, but he would actually gain a bit more. Uh, the dodge is actually quite nice. What about him in the pans? It just kind of flips the values around, look at that. Very interesting. So instead of two initiative, you get 10% uh, resistance values all the time. That's pretty interesting. So two times five makes 10%. <laughs> this is how it translates. Very interesting indeed. So, what do we get here? Uh, I mean, constitu hmm. the constitution is something that we actually really need. Um, because I, um, uh, once I got cursed, uh, and this curse kind of... Uh, uh, it, just, it just completely disrupted uh, me going forward. Because I was attacked at the bridge, and that's not cool. So what do we got here? Guardian Angel is a warfare spell. And uh, Retribution, kind of nice. But does he actually need it? No, Constitution would be. Mm, what about him? Uh, no. It's a, it's a nice one though. Like Fane can keep it. Maybe we can make some good use of it or whatnot. Uh, that one can go to the Red Prince for now. And there's also this Pixie Dust. I actually thought that I placed all of those uh, dust crafting uh, materials or like rune crafting materials. Yeah. Uh, at a specific character also. But it looks uh, as if I didn't. Hmm. Too bad, too bad. Uh, like all of the uh, useful stuff is usually on uh, in this guy's inventory. Right there in Fane. Alright, so. There is another one ahead of you who I consider more fitting for ascension. Oh. But still, go in peace, God Woken. Another one in front of me. Now that is not nice. Stop getting knocked down all the time. Wait a minute. The dwarf actually fell down. Uh, wasn't... Immu oh, yeah. Immunity to stun, uh, but not immunity to knockdown. So, there are two different things, and that is one of them. So, and while we're at it, uh, let's just check down here. <coughs> so, dagger and snap. Hello there, fellows. Two black ring wargs, heaving, stinking mounds of gristle and malice, play like puppies with a large crimson gem. Hmm. Reach out to pet the nearest warg, yes. Boys. Away. Now. Ah, pet the warg. Yeah. You die. Well, that backfired. Okay. Too bad, too bad, too bad. Now, how much damage can we do? Uh, I can do like 200 to 400. I could start with a nice impalement. And then I can follow up with this thing. Uh, or maybe even poison damage. Uh, yeah, poison damage might be pretty funny. Let's do that. Fane would be really happy to see that. So, let's do some metal as well. Ah, it's a vector. Wait, what? I think the sprite kind of messed up there. So, no, we don't. Oh, the other one is charmed. That's convenient. Uh, we're going to throw the fireball in it, though. There we go. And they're almost dead. Uh, I just need a teensy weeny bit more damage. And yeah, let's see. Uh, they're actually burning quite well. So let's just combust this dude. And the other one is standing there until the charm runs. Uh, or whatever happens. No, wait. Uh, which one is it? The beasts. Uh, so let's attack it. Oh. Wait, what? Uh, oh, wait. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't have any uh, magic ability. Wait, I do. Let's do this one. There we go. No. Aha. Uh -huh. Isn't that great? Uh, so we got snack. Just this guy has some interesting crafting stuff. The other one also. Let's look around. Uh, there's also a bunny. Ooh, wait. Uh, actually, signs. Where? The bunny there. gives you a dazed look, like he's not all there. Yeah. Wow. What a shock. Yeah. Uh, are you all right? Huh? What? Oh, hi. So, yeah. Hey, here's the thing. 
Don't hmm. get too close to the sticky out thing with the shape thing near the door. Thing's dangerous. What a shock. Uh, bye. Uh, bye, 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 bye. Sticky out thing with the shape thing near the door thing. Good. So, there's some strange stuff happening here. Near the door. So there's a strange door here. Good. So that one is not it. That's just the cave. I could actually... Can you enter the cave from up here? That would be quite funny. Anyway. Uh, there's this ruby we now need. Let's the take this. feels both extremely hot and extremely cold. And cool. yet sits comfortably in your hand. Within the crimson crystal, a galaxy of stars seems to twinkle. And beyond the stars lies a strange and wondrous realm. The stars swirl and move. And form a face, the face of an imp. Looky, looky, looky here! What red and black and blue all over? Ah, red, black, blue all over. That's a good one. Hmm. Ask if the riddle does not normally go. What's black and white and red all over? Hmm. No, that color can represent the elements. Red for life, black for death, blue for the air. Hmm, you know this one. A hamster in a blueberry press. <laughs> hmm. Okay, tell the gem the... How many eyes? Okay. Uh, tell the gem the answer is right in front of your face. And uh, cross your eye. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, the imp's face shatters into a billion stars once more. The gem returns to its inert state. Hmm. I don't know where that was. Uh, wait, Tear, Relic, Lunagate. Um, maybe it was near the beach or something. No, that that, that was actually the wrong one. Uh, but yeah. Oh, come on, really? There's actually no closer thingy up there, which is a bit weird. Uh, this way. So, in the meantime, we are going to check the lock for stuff. We found an unusual talking gem. Black ring walks will pose no further problems, and we came across a pair of walks, yes. And uh, now we got that thing. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we should have chosen some other options, but the Jester option is a funny one. That's why we took it. Uh, it kind of feels as if Jester is just a nice thing to have, but it doesn't really bring you, get you forward in the game for some reason. That's really weird. All right. So let's talk to that spirit here. They took the realm. They took it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So do we... An empty pedestal stands before you. From the ostentatious nature of the carvings upon it, you can tell it once used to hold something of great value. Hmm. Yeah, that could be the thing. Uh, let's take it and move it up there. Pedestal stands before you. This is not what I wanted. Uh, not enough space. What do you mean? An empty pe Okay. Wait a minute. Something is wrong. Huh? An empty pedestal. What? Okay, wait. An empty pedestal. Huh. Yeah. How do you do that? Wait, where's the rest of the two? Uh... Why are they here? That makes no sense. Alright. Wait. Uh, wait. No, 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 no. no. It's the wrong, wrong way. Uh, okay. Let's go back up here. Why does it say not enough space? I've... Oh, see how quickly they can move now? That is just so weird. Anyway. For some strange reason. Oh. 
Maybe we can open that one. Did I forget that? No, I didn't. Hmm. An empty pedestal stands before you. From the ostentatious nature of the carvings of... Hmm. An empty pedestal. Hmm. That's kind of weird. I don't, too high. Okay. An empty pedestal. Would have thought that this was a thing. Hmm. Gem seems to beg to be used. Uh. All right. So let's use Fane for that one. Let's see. Lucky find. No, that's not how that goes. Uh. Right click. Pick up. Grasp the gem firmly. Wait. Right click, grasp it. There we go. Countless! The face dissolves and the stars begin to swirl. And so too does your head as you are taken to another dimension. Okay, so this is how you do it. You have to right click it. Hmm. Me too. This is fascinating. Really like clockwork. Huh. The interesting thing is that uh, the standard interaction is not the, the talk, and you actually have to figure this out. Uh, somewhat. It's a wee bit weird. Uh, can't reach. Why not? Why can't I reach that? Why can't I reach that? Um, let's see. We're going to teleport this thing all the way up here. There we go. And nothing's in the box, obviously. Uh, we got a spoon. The Razzle Dazzle Engineer's Approach for things. Uh, this is usually a source container. Ah, uh, are we? Click. Oh, click doesn't sound too good. Okay. So there are teleportation scrolls. Good. Maybe you need that one. Adventure's Liquid Friend. Beer. Uh, or oil, or whatever. Rangers, rhymes, or whatnot. And what do we got here? Vial, right? Yes. Vials are always good. Empty bottle. No, wait. These are just normal empty bottles. They are not like special empty bottles because these also exist. Um, then you can use this thing, and then all of a sudden stuff happens. So, ooh. Right. Let's do a little item check here. Let's identify this thing. That one goes to Fane, of course, and Liquid Friend. When it looks like a bruise, a commotion, uh, like our advice, and die down uh, a motion. Instead, stir up a drink, have yourself a small thing, then enjoy your ingenious potion. <sighs> ah, I just love those rhymes, they're amazing. So, rhymes of the Ranger. Uh, I cut the mo. Yeah, I got this one with the donor thingy. And uh, that one is done. Then the Razzle Dazzle approach. Spook the chairs, how to create a Razzle Dazzle grenade. And I know this one too. Right, then sheet of paper is crafting, crafting, uh, empty bottle, I don't know what about that. There we go. Uh, scoundrel, hydrosurfaced, arrow third, it's a strange mix. Let's move this to Fane. Mm. And what can we do now? Like, we could uh, actually open those doors to see where they lead. Yeah, the, the area is actually quite... Look at that, teleportation device. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, what about this machine? Maybe we have to figure out how it works first. Love is not the answer. Answer search continues. <laughs> uh, did they ever try 42 or something? Uh, anyway, let's go with the... Okay, there's definitely something happening here. Uh, it's a very riddly area. Oh, no, no, oh, time itself. Is not the answer. Answer search. Okay, so love and chicken are not the answers. Uh, maybe it's like countless again. Wait a minute. The beast cannot be slowed down. This is why it can move normally still. And where are we going? That's the center thingy. Let's wait. Uh, we can just uh, lock pick the thing, I think. Let's see. That was quick. Ah, there's a lever. Nice. Maybe the lever was. Hostile threat detected. Executing operator extirpation in three, 
Oh, oh. Two. Reach for the great ball of light. Uh, complete the countdown in your head. One. Uh. Zero. Threat detected. Executing system extirpation. Whoa! What? Ooh, okay. Um. That is weird. So, Deathlock can kill even undead characters down here, which is strange. Um. What happened to the undead tag? So, we're not going to. Why am I not immune to death fog? That's strange. Or maybe this is a special death fog because we were also burning. So maybe it does like uh, multitudes of damage. And how would we open this thing? Uh, let's pick this lock. Jesus! Why are they on here? There's only like half of the characters actually here. I think you're unlocking your bony fingers. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, what was the machine that manipulates time itself? Uh, something else. Whatever. Let's just save before we move on here. Hopefully there's no safeguard happening here. Ah, there's an imp down there. Oh, a dead imp. That's not good. So, who did we actually speak with? Uh, that has this strange thing happening. Another sheet of paper, another inkwell. Thousands of books. Interesting. And a vial rug again with some vial other things. So, nothing here. And another click thingy. What is it that they do? What is it that the click dies? So, love is not the answer. Chicken is not the answer. Let's remember that. An acorn is not the answer. Hmm. But it may be close. Closer than a chicken, at least. Answer search continues. Okay. Closer than a chicken. Oh. So, no acorn, no chicken, no love. Right. That could actually be maybe some, some, uh, some song reference or whatever. So, how would we... Uh, yeah, we could move this up here. Uh, that... Oh, that really deactivates it. Interesting. Uh, and then maybe the stool could work. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's move this up here. We just need something to move on it. And then all of a sudden it works. It doesn't even need to be something very, very heavy. So, let's take the thunderbolt. Oh, the, this is not necessary. What about the imp? Impish handbook. How to imp. It is imp. Possible. Hmm. Right. Uh, what does it say? What does it say? Emergency protocol. In case of interdimensional meltdown, please activate the core to ensure the continuity of existence. We would urge all who may come into contact with the core to exert caution as many rely on existence to exist. <laughs> For more um, intimate views of the end of existence, we suggest the following pipes. Uh, what? Following the pipes. Ah, okay. So, yeah, we need to follow the pipes. Follow the pipes. Uh, follow the pipes. Where are the pipes actually going? Like these? But no. Um, need to follow the power. Whatever that means. Oh, there's a hasted one. Spirit of another. Inn. Look at that. So, uh, did I? Yeah, I picked up this stuff. And let's see. That's the strange clicky sound that happens if you step on it. So, what happened? Whoa! Now that's not good. Uh, interesting trap. So let's pick this one. And open Sisame. Right. Let's just take all of the items before we talk uh, or even loot that in. There's another bucket. Perfect. A bouquet. Stuff with flowers in it. Ah, look at that. Uh, so. I just picked up some inkwell by accident. Uh, but alright. Now, what else do we have? So it's no chicken, uh, no acorn, no love, chicken, acorn, love. Yeah, I think this was pretty much all of them. Order is not the answer. And also answer no order. Continues. Okay, no order, no acorn, no chicken, no uh no order, no acorn, no chicken, no love. There we go. Um So let's see. 
What does this imp have? Uh, essential engineering. Oh, again. Wait a minute. Essential engineering. Curious about automatons? Uh, unsure how to get the most out of your mechanical wonders? Then read on for body steps, tricks, and tutelage. Step one. Make it run. How? Why? With a face capacitor, of course. More about those in chapter five. Suffice to say, an automaton cannot function without one. In the unlikely event an automaton should malfunction, rub the capacitor out before it can do any significant damage. Yes. Um, and that was the him. Fish handbook. I got... Like this thing twice right now. I still don't really know what to do with it. But anyway, uh, let's talk to the From the size and shape of the spirit, you deduce that this is or was an imp. From its expression, you deduce that it's not very happy about being dead. Hmm. Search the imp for what he knew about the machine. Search the imp's memories for the manner of its death. Hmm. You are Marasaken, the engineer. After long years of quiet work, the gem falls into the jaws of two great black ring wargs, who treat it as a toy. The machine suspects you of sabotage and responds in self-defense. Oh. You flee to the one place where you know you will be safe from the death fog and the rock fire. But before you can plan your rush to the crawl where you'll apply the failsafe, a falling object hits you on the head. Hmm. In a flash, you are dead. But still, your objective burns in your mind. Get to the great ball of light at the core of the machine and turn off its defenses. Hmm. Search the imp for what he knew about the machine. You are Marasaken, the engineer. You keep the machine running and focused on its primary task. Just as your ancestors did, you await the answer to the great question. What is the universe? <laughs> but the machine only knows what the universe is not. It searches for the right answer by eliminating the wrong ones. You expect the process to be complete soon. Any millennium now, in fact. Hmm. But recently, you've been getting the impression that the machine, well, it just doesn't trust you. Okay, so the machine doesn't trust you. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Oh! Like, we need to get to the core, right? But, uh, we are slow. So, problems upon problems upon problems. And, uh... What is this? That's a strange thing. Wait. Hostile threat detected. What? Executing operator extirpation in three. Say what now? Two. We threw a great ball. Oh boy. Extirpation aborted. Returning to primary task. Woo. On touching the glowing ball of light. Text appears before your eyes. What? Threat de-escalated. Returning to primary task. Answer search running. Nice. Uh, let's leave it be. Whoa. Okay, so what do we get? Uh, the poison stuff is kind of cool, but I don't use it. The wand is also kind of cool, but I... think I have better things than that. Bone cure is kind of funny as well, but there's summoning in it. Why am I so fucking slow? Uh, not cool. Okay, for... This is just there for the money. Yeah, we're gonna go with the wand here, just in case. So, now what do we get? Uh, we got a soul sword. Nice. That one goes to Fane. We got the fine fists. Uh, fevery again. That one can go to the Red Prince, but now for the whole water damage thing. Ah, oh, it's the same amount of damage, really? Okay, and it cannot even make any surfaces, so that's not... That, that's, 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 that's not cool. Uh, we could just sell the thing. There we go. Much, 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 much easier this way. Right. Uh, good. Now, we can interact with that thing. Uh, Epidemic of Fire. Oh, that's a cool one. Two action points, even. Very nice. Ah, uh, yeah. Wait a minute. So, this is where... Uh, I don't know if this is a source spell, usually, or not. Let's just open that. Uh, I need the red prints. There should be some Epidemic... Yeah. Usually, it costs you three action points and two source points, so a lot. 729 damage. 
Um, so this one does the same amount of damage, but it only costs you two action points. So if you don't want to waste uh, your action points, use scrolls instead. That's actually an interesting way of fighting, right? Uh, and that one also kind of involves the crafting system in this game. So if you really know how to how to craft well, right? Um, like if you have those recipes in your head of the spells that you try to use most often, then you're actually really well set up, and you can cheap out on fights and whatnot like a, like a madman. You just have to prepare yourself really well for that. Why am I still slow? I said something about the machine manipulating time. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Um, I did not interact with this thing. Why is the machine that messed up the time? Time continuum, whatnot. Uh, was it? No, it was. Uh, was it this one? No. Uh, hmm. Can't seem to find it. Infinity is not the answer. Answer continues. Right. That was that. But there is still more because I wanted to go there. Oh, because all of the doors are open. I think. Or was it? No. Somehow the bees uh, just went down there. I don't know. Uh, I think it was a bug of the pathfinding system entirely. Alright, come on. Dude. Oh no, not again. Really have to be careful here. So, let's pick this up. So there's another one. Uh, the hyperdrive protocol. Wait. What does the hyperdrive protocol do? Oh, thank goodness. Ooh. Now this I die. And listen to the music. It actually goes faster now. That's pretty sweet. Ah, uh, if those pipes were just not there. I mean, there's a... A wee bit messed up. Okay, so there's like nothing here. Uh, what about this one? Another empty potion bottle. Yes, 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 yes. Um, little book of big booms and another one of those empty bottles. Bottles of Renos. Do, 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 do. Okay, what could we place on that? Oh, yeah, wait a minute. What if a spoon actually works? It actually works. You've got to be kidding me. Um, so, what is this? I don't know what this was, but it was something. A tube! Uh, wait. Yeah, there's another one. Um... Oh, no, wait. Uh, that's actually the wrong thing to do, I think. Uh, let's move this up here. Does it? <gasps> it works! you got to be kidding me. Um, let's see. What is this one? Uh, emergency flush protocol. Ooh, no. This one uh, would probably get us out, right? I don't know. Uh, or maybe it just makes water happen. What does it do? We're not in the ma Ooh. Okay, so whatever you do, do not pull on the emergency flush protocol ever. Um okay. Something to follow. Uh, for the future, never ever do anything in here uh, that could kill you. Maybe you actually have to close the doors in order to move the death fog somewhere where you want it to, not the other way around. So anyway. Dream is not the answer. Uh answer search continues. Alright, so there are an awful lot of thingies in here. And for some reason, this, uh, what, the, what does this thing do? What does it do? It's like hyperdrive thing, some kind of pyramid thing, um, whatever. It has no body, but somehow it seems to be interactable or whatnot. So, let's see. Let's quickly interact with the Xantessa thing. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, who could do that now? Who could do that? Uh, hmm. to touch the altar. It's called surface a curious foil to the thrumming and clanging metal that surrounds you. Pray to the altar of the goddess of myth. 
Your vision clouds, your head sways, and when the fog clears, you are still standing in the imp temple. You look around in confusion. This doesn't seem right. There's a cough behind you. Turning, you see, Xanteza. Mm. Not some allegorical figure, not some awe-inspiring god, just her. She's leaning against one of the struts on the platform, taking you in. Okay, just like that. Well, that was easy. Thank her and uh, go on your way. Wow. For the goddess of mirth, she really managed to blow the punchline to that one. <laughs> uh, look at her incredible. Does she really expect you to believe any straight answer the goddess of mirth gives you? Hmm. What? Ask why she just give you that information. Well, okay, let's go I with the jester. Admit, it's hard to crack a joke these days. After all, what could be funnier than gods cowering inside their subjects? Well, I do have one idea. She leans in, her eyes sparkling. I have a proposition for you. I'll reveal if I'm telling the truth, but only if you disown your god. Hmm. Deep within, you can feel your god stirring, hissing like a snake. Oh, make no mistake. I'm not asking you to support me at the wellspring, just not to be beholden to her. To hmm. think for yourself, to make choices that you think are right, not what some half dead god demands. Okay, ask if you reject your god. Can she get her out of you? Hmm. Nope. Your barnacle is stuck there. But you have the chance to go your own way, to make your own choices. I know what your god has asked you to do, the choices he's forced you to make. Was it right? Can you truly say it was worth it? Hmm. How do you know she's not an agent of the void? Oh yes, that's a good one. Dad and I know, but that's the situation. You can walk away with my word, or reject your god and be sure. Hmm. She's right. Uh, you don't like the way your god has been acting. Denounce Amadia. Wow. You feel your god straining within you. Release her. She'll get the truth from you. Uh, you won't reject the god. Uh, it saved your life. Turn and walk away. Well, hmm. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? That's an interesting one. Uh, actually, we have to stay true to our ways of dealing with those altars, meaning that whatever they needed, we provided, uh, no matter the cost. So let's denounce her. The anger that you felt just a moment ago, the unchained rage of your god, turns to ice in your bones. You can feel rage becoming something verging on hate. The quiet in the voice that you have almost gotten used to is silenced. And you feel your god withdrawing, retreating, locking itself away somewhere you cannot reach. <laughs> Thank you! I have loved life that in many centuries! <laughs> Her form melts away to smoke, leaving nothing but a platform bathed in light from a huge bright moon. Hmm. There's actually no moon here. Like, usually you do see that, but anyway. You reach out to touch the altar. The altar sits there, a moon carved into its base. Nope, no moon. Despite your prayers, it refuses to... To acknowledge we're here, yes. So... On touching the glowing ball of light, text appears before your eyes. <laughs> Threat de-escalated. Uh. Returning to primary task. Answer search running. Hmm. If it's looking for an answer, ask what the question is. Oh, yes. Hmm. What is the universe? Yeah. Ask if it's found the answer yet. Answer not yet found. Search incomplete. Estimated search time, 358,910,227 years. That's a lot of days. Estimated search time, 358,910,227 years. Anyway, then it's all dead. Abnormal seismic activity threatened primary task operations. Operator sabotage suspected. To protect core functionality and data retention, first level security measures were activated. Operator submitted override stream. Large quadrupeds are playing with a framing device. The likelihood of quadrupeds having the capacity of play was calculated at one in two. Hmm. The likelihood of an operator lying about quadrupeds shaking the framing device was also calculated at one in two. Hmm. Operator's manner and language indicated hostility to the machine. I don't think that's... Operator was identified uh. as most likely primary threat. 
extirpation was deemed the safest and most logical action. Threat de-escalated, returning to primary task. Answer search running. All right, so much so for that. Text appears before your answer, not yet. Not yet found. So... Looks as if uh, we now have to get out of here. Uh, let's go with the hyperdrive and see where we end up at. Oh no, wait. No, 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 no. Uh, where are we, by the way? Temple of Tears and Dylan's Academy of Seven. Ah, Impish Pocket Drum. So we can just teleport here if need. No, no, no. There we go. Being faster is a wee bit better. Um, but shouldn't there be a way of getting out of here, though? I mean, come on. So it's all of the things that are not the answer. Then there was this altar thingy. And how do you. How do you get out of here uh, after you've interacted with the core? Why do you... how do you do this? I mean, you can just teleport out, right? Um, maybe this is how you're supposed to get out of here, though. But, uh... We've interacted with an awful lot of things up here. It seems as if that was it. Um, maybe I can put it in its frame now. Make it work. Uh, I prayed at each of the seven altars and gave him a strength to the gods, yes. So... Well, that uh, yep, it's done. So what we are doing now is we're going for the relic one. Uh, that seems to be the closest, and I have to go wait this way uh, and then north. There we go. Uh, then just a little bit further and somewhere over here, and there we have that thingy. And with a little bit of luck, we can place it back where it belongs. So... Let's just get rid of this thingy right there. There we go. Didn't want to stop them from moving. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can activate them if you put this core back in there again. Now looky here. Yeah, look at that. And not enough space. Wait, what? Why does it still not work? Not enough space. Wait. I won't it move. Yeah, you can you can use the scroll wheel, by the way, if you uh, want to rotate it. Um, hmm. Bollocks! Uh. Okay, maybe this was the. Ah, look at that. It actually opens the doors again. Very interesting. So every time you step on these things, uh, it definitely triggers something. Hmm. Uh, and this is an interesting way back again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's something about following the pipes, right? Wait a minute. Uh, you can actually follow the pipes, can you? So let's see, let's heal real quick. Uh, and then we are going to use the teleport spell. No, wait, we don't need teleport, we just need to move. Just like that. There we go. And follow them pipes. Uh, pipes. Let's see where we end up at, though. Uh, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Ah, uh, look, there's something else. An energy core. With identifying leggings of divine quality. Nice. Uh, that is not all it, though. Uh, where do we end up at? Uh, Alta of Santasa, that's one way of going there. But, uh, yeah, now we are down here. What do we do? What What do we do now? Can't reach anything. Um, whoa! Interesting. So, if you trigger your abilities, it completely halts whatever you're doing right now. And this is seems to be uh, just decoration for now. Uh, you're not supposed to move on those wheels. But wait a minute, why can't we go on those wheels and go upwards or downwards? That would introduce an even larger way of comp uh, like whoa, even higher degree of complexity in there. But anyway, we uh, uh, are going to move back to the MC. There we go. And what do we have here? 
let's move this to me. Let's identify this again. We have to wait. That one goes to Fane. Malachite, source orbs, go to Fane. Diamonds, nice. Da, 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 da. Ah, there we go. Uh, roguery. In this short description of a particular specimen of Vagabond, he claims to have encountered in his travels across the land, Hubert, talks of shadowy skills largely involving short blades and the ability to liberate people of their belongings, or without their prior knowledge, or indeed their survival. Uh, that's an interesting one. And the little book of big booms. Sol and fold, rain and lightning, blood and boil, and so on and so forth. We got that one. And this is an intelligence thingy, which is actually really good. Mm, it could be somewhat comparable to the ones that we have right now, which is good. Higher numbers, more better. Um, fire and poison resistance. We don't need poison resistance. Mm. Ret leadership is also not really needed. Retribution is kind of funny. The rest just works out. The water resistance is the thing that is the highest on me, though. And that would be really nice uh, so that I can use water or ice spells right next to my Anubis. That would be fun. Mm, let's see, maybe the beast can use them. Uh, yeah. But then I would fall uh, on leadership skills and that's definitely not a good thing. Um, let's see. It's, it's, it's the same thing. Like 4, 2, 10, and 1. Uh, and there's like 4, 2, 10, and 1 again. So both of them are leadership. I would just move one set of pans to another. Uh, earth, air, dodge. Nope. And what about this one? Fire, air, resistance. Hmm. Yeah, which one do we go for, though? Which one do we go for? I don't need the poison resistance. It's just a nice bonus. But I do have to say that the bonus shielding might be pretty neat. Also, yes. Why don't we just give him more... Uh... Yeah, more health entirely. That could actually work. Let's give him some divine packs. He has two divine items right now. Like, he seems to be the lucky guy. Uh, wait a minute. How does it change? Look, oh, look at that. 300. 300. Nice. And uh, these ones can be sold now. The bucket stays there. And that one goes to Fane. Okay. Right. I think that was it. Pretty much. Now, what do we do with this gem of Sentessa? Because I actually wanted to place it on the altar again. But somehow, nothing. Uh, let's go to Relic again. That is the best place to continue all the time. Uh, wait, how do you get up there? Is there a quicker way up? Uh, that could be the jump. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Ah, there we go. No, oh, that was... Luna Gate. There we go. <laughs> Much nicer. But before we actually do anything with those altars and moons and whatnot, we are going to end the episode and continue, of course, at another time. Till then, like and subscribe and ta-ta.